Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. This is going to cover love, money, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know can help with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, also, my beautiful dolls, if you would like to take my six week long class, it covers um, psychic protection, uh, psychic development, and also learning about the troll. I've been reading trolls since I've been 14 years old, so I got a lot to teach you guys. Um, and also, if you guys are interested in purchasing my tarot deck, okay, so I was selling it through Amazon, but um, somehow my company got associated somehow with some other company. So now it's been me trying to prove that this is my deck and that I have publishing rights to it, all those kinds of things. And I have really gone around in a big circle with Amazon and it's still not fixed. So if you're interested in purchasing my deck, I have lots of decks, guys. It's just you guys will just have to pay the money for the shipping cost. Just know going in like, all right, so wherever you're at, all right, I have to figure out your shipping cost and then then I'll have to, uh, then we can do it that way. Okay, so um, you can hit me up at my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com. I, I know a lot of you guys do hit me up all the time, like on Instagram, everywhere. So just hit me up on my uh, email and then we'll, we'll, we'll come to come some kind of conclusion on that because obviously I don't know when this Amazon thing is gonna be fixed. Okay, so. Now, Capricorn, let's jump right in here. So we're gonna be looking at your love life and then your career in finance and then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. And also thank you to my members. I always appreciate all the support. All right, what's gonna happen? My Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorns, career and finance for now until the end of August. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm already getting a message for you guys, so I'm gonna tell you what it is. So let's go to the first, ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so what I was seeing, the image I saw was somebody feels that somebody is talking crap about them behind their back. And uh, that's exactly, well, more or less, I don't like to say the word stabbed in the back, but that's, that's what I heard. But, um, uh, you know, because remember, words are spells. So you want to be careful about what you're saying in, in the ether. So anyway, I'll just say, somebody felt like somebody was talking crap about somebody behind their back, all right? So we got this, now Seven of Wands, okay? Now I see why. Seven of Wands is saying, I want to defend my position, all right? So someone's like, I want to defend my position against these other people. Okay, so let's go more into this. Uh, what the heck is going on here, Capricorn? So it's like almost like family members or something. Like, that's what I feel like. Some, something about family members or something. Uh, okay, so we got this Aries Sagittarius Leo energy and we got this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy and somebody who has some kind of regrets. Okay, so let's get more information. Let's clarify th what the heck this is about with the Seven of Wands and why somebody feels like they're talking to behind their back and what's going on with that situation. Okay, so it's gonna have my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards, my Capricorn's Career and Finance for now until the end of August. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorn, let's see. What the heck is this about? All right, so someone's gonna actually show up at your door here, or there's some kind of, this This represents, okay, let's just talk about what this card represents, okay? This represents somebody actually showing up at your door, okay? And obviously, it's like, I wanna defend this position. So it, it's like, they almost like feel like they gotta talk to you in person to explain to you what's going on. So maybe you're gonna, you already found out about this, or you're already aware of this for some of you guys. So it's like this person's like taking a hands-on approach it looks like here. Cause obviously they wouldn't be sending you something like in the mail cause that also represents like the UPS that represents like Amazon guy or whatever. Uh, let's not talk about Amazon right now. <laughs> so let's fix my situation. All right, so anyway, with that with my card deck, for those of you who watched the beginning of the video, you, okay, you know, you know, I should literally just put on there uh, on on the community tab, guys, the error that I'm getting and see if any of you guys know how to fix this uh, when it comes to Amazon. All right, so 
Am, am, if there's any Amazon experts that's watching this, <laughs> hit me up in the comments. Okay, so uh, what's going to find Capricorn for romantic love life now until the end of August? Show me the cards you see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so, ooh, this has to do with a new love. Ooh, so there's concerns that you may go off with someone new? that someone's been saying about them, somebody getting with somebody new. Okay, what's going on here? So there is a justified energy here. Someone feels justified. Okay, so let's talk about what justice means. Okay, in the practical sense. It can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. Obviously, it's next to the seven of wands. So it's like, I want to defend my position when it comes to this legal situation, when it comes to a sense of fairness. Also, judgment can be a sense, a justice can be a sense of fairness. So somebody wants a sense of fairness in a decision. So let's see what that's about. It's like, okay, so we see, so things can turn in their favor. We see this blessing, the divine timing. We see something about this money situation. So somebody's like, in all fairness, I want you to understand my side of the story when it came to this new love situation and money and finance, okay. So because there's this kind of defeated energy of like, should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away from the situation? I'm really desperate, Capricorn. When it comes to this friendship, we were only friends, Capricorn. Okay, so seems to me like the, what you're gonna find out about this when they show up, because they want this fairness in their decision-making, they're gonna let you know that like this person, no, we're not in a situation. This isn't a new love, okay? It isn't about, look, we were just friends. I was just helping out a friend, okay? so. Uh, let's keep going here. So there's some arguments, fights about this situation with the five wands energy about these people. And I see it's like this defensiveness here. That's the safe card is nine of wands energy. And uh, I see that the 10 of swords is here. So it looks like whatever has been going on, whatever is happening here with these ruination of plans, this end of this tough cycle, tens mean ending of something. It's a completion of something. So, um, I see now you're receiving something of value and worth and it seems like things are going to come into balance. Okay, so when it comes to these secrets, this unknown, high priestess card energy, uh, and this concern about loss of a relationship. So someone's really going to defend themselves because they don't want to lose a relationship, but they want to, or if you're not in a relationship with this person, they don't want to lose the potential of a relationship. Okay, so let's, uh, let's keep going. So I see uh, things are moving fast. There's a lot of energy being put into this situation when it comes to love and romance. And we see that you guys are gonna get some kind of spiritual understanding here towards the end of the month. Uh, a lot of you guys are just kind of focusing on yourself by the end of the month, all right? So we see this concern about the potential new love and this cautiousness about single and available to pursue. We see this money situation and trying to uh, stay balanced and patient here until things come into balance, okay? so. There is some kind of collaboration or work situation here, Three of Pentacles energy, which is making you feel stuck in the middle of the situation or your person. And um, they're feeling bad about this. There's a sense of regret. So let's try to make this a little bit more clear cut, guys. You know I like, I like clear cut. So from what I can understand from the message I came in, okay, it seemed like somebody was talking crap about someone else, okay? And the person wants to defend their position about this, okay? and. It, it was like somebody was talking about something, maybe it was at work, but I felt like it was more family members or something, uh, family friends kind of thing. Um, but it looks like there's clarity here. Now, if this isn't a person you're actually dating as of yet, they're, they're this, they see you as new love, okay? And uh, they're letting you know uh, about this situation and there's a defensiveness here and they wanna fix it. And there's a, a sense of regret about the situation. So they really want you to make a fair judgment, a fair decision on what really happened, okay? Uh, because of this anger and frustration around this situation, okay? Hopefully it's clear cut for you guys. So I see that there is this travel situation here towards the end of the month, and we see you guys are having a good time. There's a joyful energy, hanging out, uh, going to a restaurant here. Uh, you're just having a good time. It's a really happy energy. And it looks like from this situation, you are going to make a decision very soon. If we see what is this decision about, we can just do this. Okay, so new love, single and available to pursue, very soon needs to make a decision of being more than just friends, okay? Money and finance situation, cautious, defensive, feeling bad and regretful about a relationship. Central theme is saying, I want to be patient and heal. And um, why is that there? It's because there's defensiveness about a relationship, 
right? So we see what is this decision again? A friend or something about friends and wanting a relationship and needing to make a decision very soon. So it looks like you will have to make your decision about this situation if you want this relationship. Okay, so delays and challenges, strong feelings, communication, shock and surprise, missing you, listening to your intuition, deep love, overthinking a situation because of secrets. We see work and lots of soul searching about this passionate situation when it came to family and conflict and having to wait around because of some indecisions. Okay, so someone's showing up at your door. We see there's some socializing going on or something involving people. You're listening to your intuition. You're realizing there's this blessing in the right time, receiving something of value, but still stuck in the middle. Um, we see there's this desperation that's being taken away for a happy energy. So whatever was going on here, it's going to be resolved, okay, by the end of this month. So whatever was happening with this ruination of plans, with this anger, this frustration about all this stuff going on about around behind people's backs and stuff, it's going to be resolved, okay? It's going to be resolved. Six of Swords is the final card. Yeah, because it's like anger and stuff about secrets and stuff like that. It's all going to be cleared up. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Capricorn. All right, can I suffice for my Capricorns when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Now until the end of August, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. See. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so focus on demonstrating love and take a rest a break <laughs> and look guys you got to consider the foundation okay what's going on <laughs> right it's saying that you are limitless don't limit yourself to the situation when you spend time together with this person um, treasure your loved ones and know that there is true love here and have patience with the situation uh, when it comes to expressing love okay all right, my beautiful Capricorns, let's take a look at your career and finance here. Okay, so you guys are doing some soul searching about this um, situation this month coming up. Well, obviously we're already in the month, but you're doing, you're, you're starting to do some soul searching about making a decision. And it looks like someone's giving you advice towards Virgo Capricorn energy. Could be a feminine energy, okay? Because that's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm just gonna go further and see what that's about. Let's see what that is about here. We see there, you guys have been dealing with some issues around career and finance as well. So it's interesting too. You see someone, uh, someone does, you have a situation where you're like, I can make a decision. This is main person's making a decision. And I see that you're getting advice on some kind of purchase or some kind of foolishness here. Because this represents foolishness from the past someone feels foolish and so they're like going to get advice queen of pentacles energy or there's a foolishness about this queen of pentacles or for some of you guys you are having some issues here you're doing some soul searching main person is making a decision and getting some advice about some kind of purchasing buying purchasing okay so there also could be an aries sagittarius leo energy around this um kings okay when we're talking about career and finance for my new readers out there Kings, when we're talking about career and finance, represent bosses and leaders, okay? So something about this boss, this leader, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay, so, yep, but then, again, this card also means, means landowner, okay, landlord. Um, it can be a, a boss, okay? So something about this leader, boss. Oops, oh, so I use that deck. <laughs> Obviously, we got that card for a reason. Okay, saying healing, wants to fix the situation. So you're going to regain your confidence about this situation because of this friendship. And I see you guys, um, now the Empress. The Empress means something is growing. So you may be working on something. Let's think about the Seven of Pentacles when you think about the Empress because she's like the pregnancy belly, right? So we're talking about career and finance now. So something is growing. Something is happening for you guys. Also, it can be like, she's like also like the Queen of Wands. So it's like a cross between the Queen of Wands 
and uh, like uh, seven of pentacles, like when you think about the empress and the career and finance aspect for the practical sense, okay? So something you're growing here, and she's she also could say, also could be saying, well, I know my value and my worth, right? So, and I know I'm ready for some type of change. Okay, so there's some politics that are being played here by the end of the month with this feminine energy, younger feminine energy. And it looks like because of this, you received some type of good news towards Virgo Capricorn energy. And uh, I feel like is able to defend a position. So it looks like there's some kind of collaboration or partnership going on here. So it does, does look like you're collaborating with somebody or partnering with somebody or doing something with someone, okay, with the Two of Cups energy. Now, it could just mean that, you know, you have to do a project with someone, okay? It's, an, it's just it's not three people, it's just two. So three people, ten, uh, three pentacles is a team, okay? Three cups could be a team, but the Two of Cups is like a partnership it's like one other person, okay? So it could be like one other person you're teaming with. Now partnerships can be, maybe you're partnering up with someone in Capricorn, or some of you guys, okay, let's just talk about another kind of partnership that's not, wouldn't be as you see it uh, as an atypical partnership. Like, okay, I have to hire a marketing person, okay, partnership, okay? I have to hire an accountant, partnership, okay? so doesn't necessarily mean that it's like, oh, I'm gonna get in a partnership with somebody. It could just mean that you're doing something so it could help you with your business or career, right? So you're doing something and collaborating with someone here, one other person. We see this letter, message, document, paperwork, okay? For some of you guys, it could be a resume, okay? It could be, um, you know, a business plan, okay? Because this is written, something written. It could be something with an email, okay? so. You're getting some help with somebody to do this, whatever this written paperwork stuff is, okay? So there's some sadness about this boss situation and this younger feminine, main person and a friend is trying to defend the position when it comes to this purchasing or this concern about foolishness that needs to change. And we see there's this letter, message, document, paperwork, okay? It could be about HR, okay? so. Um, it's just some, some kind of collaboration with someone on some paperwork. Okay, so we see there's a lot of soul searching going on here about this Aries Sagittarius Leo energy, this Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. Uh, and these are two leader cards, okay? So there's some politics being played and some uh, passion, creativity, taking a leadership role around this. We see a decision is being made. We see someone is trying to regain someone's confidence here, which, they do, which you do, because there's good news, Page of Pentacles energy. We see that there's feminine energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy, and we see uh, attractive, okay, growing something, which is this choice that's being made about this collaboration, and let's see what that's about. There's a little bit of overthinking going on that's gonna be over, or procrastination is gonna stop. Um, we see that hopeful signs are coming in for you, Capricorn, when it comes to these indecisions, because of uh, being able to save for Pentacles energy or hold on to a situation. And it looks like you're gonna be able to do a lot of the things, take control of the situation and do some of the things you really love, which will create a sense of happiness, sun card energy. So just like your love life, interesting enough, um, you, you guys also are going to, by the end of this month, and be in a much better optimistic place. So, and who else is also dealing with that? I think Aquarius. So if you guys are sun, moon, rising sign Aquarius, you may also wanna check out that reading as well. It's very similar. It's like Aquarius literally, excuse me, not Aquarius, Libra, Libra. Um, Libra also had a situation where they just had a lot of great stuff going on towards the end of the month. All right, so for love and career and finance. I'll have to see, also you, you guys, also another thing you can look at since your ruler is Saturn, so when you're looking at your astrology, really pay attention to Saturn because obviously, depending on where Saturn is, if the Saturn's in a good position or a bad position, obviously it's gonna affect you in a certain way, right? So, like uh, what I mean by that is like in a sign. Capricorn, Aquarius, obviously would be in a good position or if there's a favorable sign, like Libra. So technically, uh, Saturn does really well in Libra, likes Libra. All right, so. 
Can I have some advice for my Capricorns when it comes to their career in finance for the highest best good for the best possible income? What they do? Show my cards in See? Show my cards in the two. I literally have these career cards over here. I should be using them. Okay. Nothing is set in stone here, Capricorn. All right. Take some time for yourself. The end of a tough cycle approaches, I told you guys. So it's about to be over. Okay. So I know it, it's... You're starting out this time period, like it's very difficult, like you're like literally like, oh God, I can't take any more, but it, you're coming out of it, okay? So it's, it's okay. You're about to see the light in the tunnel, so just, it's, it's coming, <laughs> okay, it's coming. All right, so what does Capricorn need to know spiritually? Let's see. What does Capricorn need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that help them? Now until the end of August, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Capricorn, let's see here. Wow, Capricorn, that's really good, actually. Sun card talks about the card of living in the moment and being carefree and happy. So obviously you're dealing with a situation, and you know, here's the thing. There's a the thing that, that I'm sure I've talked to you, for a lot of you guys have been listening to me for a while, you probably heard this from me already, but we'll talk about it. What do you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know? Well, this is this is it, Capricorn. So this is a lot of times when we get so caught up in our situations, right? We have to remember roller coaster ride up and then down and up and then down. And believe me, I'm 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 not gonna be hypocrite on this. Sometimes I also forget this myself and my spirit guides remind me of this. Okay, so yes, you're having a down period at the moment with a couple of situations here, Capricorn, but as you know things are gonna come back up again, right? So it's only a ride. So the rest of this month is what it's asking you to do. Your spirit guides are asking you to take a step back and live in the moment and just be in that place of happiness. Remember that no one, no outside influence controls our happiness. One thing I can tell you for sure for my spiritual awakening, I had the most profound inner peace I've ever felt in my whole life and I was so happy and yes I was going through stuff so it wasn't like I was dealing with financial aid debt all this kind of stuff okay so I was I was going I was going to graduate school all, all kinds of stuff was going on this time but nothing bothered me because I had the inner peace the inner bliss the inner happiness and we have to take that step out because what, did, what was I told? My spirit guides told me at the time. It's an inner journey. We're always looking for outer validation. We think those outer validations will make us happy. But really at the end of the day, it's just truly us that can make us happy. We can choose to be happy or not to be happy. And for the people that are feeling lonely, feeling alone, Believe me, we're not alone. Ever. We're not ever alone. All you have to do, if you're wondering whether or not you're alone, like just listen to people. They'll give you the same kind of things over and over, or the, even the videos that you come across. How could you possibly come across the videos that you do just when you need that information? Just when you need that information, you get that information. It's just a lot of us, like I can even, I can tell you when I was younger, I don't think I, that I paid attention to the signs. But once I started to pay attention to those signs over the years, you really notice that, wow, there's no coincidences and that yes, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your loved ones are constantly sending messages, okay? So that's what I'm saying, guys. There's no reason in the world, except for us, of why we don't want to be happy. We can choose, we can change our mindset and we can give ourselves in the mirror, like a high five, like, ah, Capricorn, you're the best. Cause you're telling your subconscious mind, hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right, right? So I would say, how do you start being happy and how do you start getting that way? <sighs> Surrender. Because why do we feel unhappy and why do we feel sad? It's because we feel like we need control because we didn't get something we wanted to get, that we didn't fulfill some kind of desire we wanted. But if we surrender and we say, you know what? If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'm okay either way. That's when you start to be in that place of just living in the moment and being happy. 
And also, here's another thing you can do. Okay, so let me just give an example, okay? So I have molt many, many a times. I'll be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna plan my day. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to this restaurant. I'm gonna go to this park. I'm gonna go to this, this, that. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, man, it, it just was disappointing today. I just, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Cause why did it? Because I had expectations of how the day was gonna go. You know, the days that you have the best days a lot of times is the days where you're just like, you know what? It's really nice outside. I'm just gonna go to that park that I really like. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go to my favorite spiritual shop. Check that out, see what's going on over there. And then by the end of the day, I'm reflecting on the day and I'm like, oh my God, I just had a great day. And the reason why is because I just lived in the moment. Sun card energy. When you're a child, you're playing with your toys, do you care about the bills? Do you care about the things going on? Not to say we have to, but you know, we, of course we have obligations and stuff, but there are days that you can just, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna just read this book for a couple hours. Hey, I wanna sleep a little bit longer. You know, I wanna do some of the things that's gonna bring me that sense of joy and happiness. Focus on that. On that. That's how you can start living in the moment and just, just being. I love you guys so much. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. And if anybody knows how to deal with uh, if Amazon, if Amazon expert is watching me right now, just hit me up in the comments because I need help trying to figure out what's going on with this situation with my deck. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.